In Georgia this year, we've already seen a run of violent tornadoes in Griffin and the damage can seem random. But one thing is for sure in the last 15 years, 61% of Georgia's storm deaths happen in and around mobile homes. Our Suzanne Lawler shows you why leaving your mobile home before a storm hits could save your life. My main concern about the mobile home is it's it's never safe. It's never if a tornado comes, it's this is going to go. Kendall Poston and her neighbors live in a mobile home park and they have different strategies in case of a tornado warning. We'll just go into our closet in the master bedroom since it's pretty much just like no windows or anything. I seek out the safest places that I can find. One of them be in the bathroom with all the pillows on you that you can get. William Norris says he would leave if he had to, but riding it out in a mobile home is risky. They're real lightweight and they're they're not aerodynamic, and so the wind just hits that wall and can and can really move them. And whether or not it moves them and slides them on the property or topples them over, they can be a, an unsafe situation. When weather gets severe, emergency management director Spencer Hawkins, along with other city leaders, hunker down in this bunker to coordinate help and make decisions. He has 20 years of experience in this field, and he's heard all of the excuses as to why folks don't leave. I wrote it out before, so I'll be okay this time. At the same time, you never know. Um, you know, talk to people in Joplin, Missouri that got hit with that major tornado or the people up in Spalding that just got hit, you know, a couple of weeks ago. It was a foundation. I double blocked mine because it offers a more secure situation. You know, when you tie it down, there's not wobbling around. Tie downs come with mobile homes, but don't get lured into a false sense of security. I've not seen straps work effectively. So it all comes down to a plan of getting out and set up where you're going ahead of time. Hawkins says preferably you pick a brick or stucco home that you can get to within five minutes. Now is a good time to get to know your neighbors. Hey, by the way, Bob, you know, if it happens, do you mind if I come and hang out? My family and I come in and hang out with you for, you know, an hour or two hours to make that work. Um, but it, it, it's that pre-planning that, um, that will save your life. Wise words with volatile weather right around the corner. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. S some good advice there. Hawkins also says if you can't find a neighbor or relative to stay with, go to a large business like a big box retailer or Walmart or a grocery store. The time is